AC coupled battery systems or DC coupled battery systems? Which are really the best when it comes to a solar and battery storage system for your home? I'm gonna be answering that question and teaching you all about these two different battery types in today's video. All right, so in today's video, we're talking about AC coupled batteries versus DC coupled batteries. Now, all home solar batteries pretty much fall into one of these two categories of AC coupled or DC coupled. And when we talk about AC versus DC coupled batteries, really what we're talking about is where does the interface, where does the connection between the solar power system and the battery system take place? Is, is it a direct DC to DC solar to battery connection above the inverter? or is it on the AC side of the system after the solar power has been inverted from native DC into AC and then be able to be able to be sent into the home's electrical system. You see, all of our homes and the electric grid are wired for alternating current power. Alternating current power meaning the voltage fluctuates, it, it goes back and forth uh, on a preset frequency. Here in the United States, it, it's 60 Hertz or 60 cycles per second where that voltage reverses uh, whereas solar panels and batteries are natively direct current electrical devices. Direct current ele electrical devices are a pretty much constant voltage between the positive and the negative. Now, the reason the electric grid standard was established using alternating current power was because it's more efficient to transmit alternating current power across long distances. So if you imagine electricity flowing from a power plant to a local substation through your local transformer or into your home, that power could have traveled tens or even maybe a hundred miles to get to your home. Whereas when we're talking about locally generating and using electricity in the home, typically that's done in direct current format. Whether you're talking about solar panels, batteries, even your laptop or your cell phone, those are all internally direct current electronics. Now, the less times you have to convert power, the more efficient the system is. So in an ideal world, we'd like to directly send solar power coming off your roof directly to the battery if you're using solar panels to charge the battery. Um, and in today's world, you may also have electric vehicle batteries tied into the system as well. It's also much more efficient to do that uh, direct in, in the native DC format before flowing through an inverter. You see, every time you have to transform electricity, you're losing a little bit of energy in the conversion process. So whether you're stepping the voltage up or you're stepping the voltage down or you're converting DC to AC or AC to DC, every time you do that, you lose a little bit of energy in the conversion process. Uh, most of it is lost as heat. That's why if you go up and you, you touch your laptop or your cell phone charger, go ahead and, and feel the base or the, or the brick of that charger and chances are you're gonna feel it's hot or it's warm. That is energy being wasted in a conversion process. So when we talk about a home solar power system, ideally you'd like to use as much of the native direct current power uh, in that format as possible. So if you need to use solar panels to charge your home battery, doing it in DC format is more efficient. If you need to use solar panels to charge your electric vehicle battery, doing that in the native DC format is more efficient. And in the future, we may be able to power other home loads using direct current power, things like water heaters, or maybe even stove and oven appliances, for example. Now, on the other hand, if we look at an AC coupled battery system, like the example here, we're looking at the Tesla Powerwall 2, when we look at an AC coupled battery system with solar, the interface happens here at the AC circuit breaker panel. Now, the advantage of an AC coupled design is that it's generally much more easy to retrofit the battery after solar has already been installed. So let's say you have solar panels on your home, you already have a solar inverter, which converts the solar power to AC power so it can be fed back to the power grid, and you decide you wanna add battery storage with your solar system, it's typically much easier and much less disruptive in terms of the cost of the installation, uh, also making sure that you don't void any warranties that may have come with your existing solar system if you do the tie-in at the AC circuit breaker panel. So the, the real advantage with an AC coupled battery is ease of retrofit and preservation of the original solar warranty. However, in order to do this and in order to connect the system in this fashion, you incur what's called the triple conversion penalty, which means that if you're gonna use an existing solar system to charge an AC coupled battery, 
You have to convert solar DC to AC through the solar inverter, feed that AC power into the panel, and then internally into the battery, you have to convert AC power back to DC. Because remember, battery cells themselves are natively DC direct current devices, just like the solar cells. Then when it's time to pull energy out of the battery to provide backup power to the house, you have to then again convert DC from the battery cells into AC so it can be fed back into the house. And so that's basically three conversions. Every time you convert electricity in this fashion, you're gonna lose about three to 10% at the, at the worst case. And so if you have to, to, to convert the electricity three times from when it's originally generated to when it's finally consumed, you're not gonna get as much of that energy back out. So that's the trade-off. AC coupling offers you ease of installation and ease of retrofit. The cost that you pay is the triple conversion penalty, meaning that not all of the energy that you, you harvest is actually gonna be usable by the home. And this is a great time to introduce today's video sponsor, Solar Edge. Just a quick word from our sponsor, Solar Edge. If you're looking for an all-in-one solar and energy management system, then you need to take a look at the Solar Edge Home. The Solar Edge Home puts you in control of your home's energy system, incorporating solar power, battery storage, bi-directional EV charging, generator support, and intelligent load control seamlessly integrated on a single platform. The system is built using a high voltage DC coupled architecture, allowing industry leading round trip efficiency. So if you'd like to learn more information, go to the Solar Edge website or click the link in the description below so that you can get in touch with an installer right away. Thank you Solar Edge for supporting the channel and for sponsoring today's video. Now, if we take a closer look at a DC coupled battery system, you can see we have a direct DC connection from the solar system to the inverter, also to the battery, and, and in really in today's systems, you can add electric vehicle battery to this side as well. And so again, if, if your goal is to maximize the self-consumption of your solar electricity when it's still in DC format, a number of these functions, namely home battery charging and future electric vehicle battery charging, are done more efficiently on the DC side of the system. So this has been a brief discussion of AC coupling versus DC coupling for solar and battery storage systems. DC coupling is more efficient, AC coupling allows for easier interoperability and retrofit. Now folks, as always, if you're getting good value from the videos you watch here on Solar Surge, make sure you give us a thumbs up and also go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well if you haven't done so already. That way, as we have new videos like this coming out, it'll come up on your feed and you can stay up to date with us. Now, of course, if you're a homeowner, if you're in the process of looking at different solar or battery storage options for your home, uh, if you need to get a quote for a solar with a, maybe a DC or an AC coupled battery backup, uh, as always, feel free to reach out to us on the link below there. Uh, it'll take you to our website where you can set up a call with a solar expert or just use our free online quote tool so you can see how much solar and storage costs in your area. Well, that pretty much does it for today's video. As always, I thank you all for spending some more time with Solar Surge. And I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.